Guys, it's me, Mini Fluffy One, and welcome back to Undertale. Where we last left off, we had just finished uh, battling Papyrus, and now we are going to go to his house and have that date. And that's gonna be the premise for this episode. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da 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 -da. So, I'm just casually strong. I should have taken the tunnel thing. You know, it is what it is. Hello, Papyrus. Sir, you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay. Take me to your place. <laughs> Love it. My house! Whoa. Not your house, bro. That wasn't fair, guess lady. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Oh boy. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Oof. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Dang. You guys are rich. Just kidding. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. There. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Yes. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. Oof. Curses. <laughs> Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <laughs> uh, I can't get enough. Aha! Interested in my food museum? I want to start calling my fridge a food museum. That's a, it's just a food museum now. Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Sans! How dare you leave an empty bag of chips in here! <laughs> That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. I feel roasted and called out. <laughs> what is this? That's just a counter. What about this? My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Whoa. A classic image, though it reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. The door is locked. Yeah, I know. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. That's a bit forward, Papyrus. Uh, you haven't even taken me to dinner yet, but sure. Why not? Alright. 
cool. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you! Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. <laughs> That's my bed! If I'd ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Why, wind in my hair, salt on my skin, you have neither of those. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yep, that's right. Santa. <laughs> oh, Papyrus. You fool. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons! Yeah! No, that's blatantly incorrect. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Papyrus... Do you have some sort of developmental disorder? Guys, I've got it. Papyrus has autism. Big brain. The internet! I'm quite popular there. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's funny. <laughs> you have no idea, Papyrus. No idea. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns with a goofy font. Is it Comic Sans, perhaps? The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Okay. There are no skeletons inside my closet! Except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay. Time to date. So, um... If you've seen everything... Do you want to start the date? Absolutely, of course, Papyrus. Okay, dating start! <laughs> Best... Dating start. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. No! Yeah. <laughs> really? Wow, we. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? I always say yes, I'm gonna say no to see what happens. <laughs> Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today, of all days. Was your interest in me predestined? <laughs> No! Your dating power! Okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great Papyrus, have never been beating at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. 
You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. <coughs> Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Whoa! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine compliment. Ah! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. What about your feet? Human souls are stronger than monster souls. The soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Ankles. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Oh, yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. Okay, sorry. I had to go for it. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Kinky. Very kinky. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist. I see, I see. Oh, those aren't your biceps. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? No idea. Yeah! <laughs> That's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it is time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm really curious. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ugh! Ugh! No! Yes! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, Everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I am... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. That's a little much, buddy. But, al but alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. <coughs> How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, 
don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was too many hairs. But whatever. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is that actually it? Okay, cool. Papyrus half poofed away. A question for myself is, do I continue or do I just leave it there? I don't exactly know how long I have been recording is the thing. Yeah, not that long. So we shall push forward. Forward match! I can't believe I went on a date with Papyrus. I love doing that voice. And I'll always love doing that voice. Despite the emptiness my soul is now filled with. Ooh, rainy boys. Crystally boys. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Nice. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Save. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Cool. I love shortcuts. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast earlier? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Of course. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, burger, obviously. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think of my brother? Totally uncool. That was a joke. Hey, pal. Sarcasm isn't funny, okay? My brother's a real star. He's the person who pushed me to get the sentry job. Maybe it's a little strange, but sometimes... It's nice to have someone call you out on being lazy. Even though nothing could be further from the truth. Ah. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? I don't like ketchup on my burgers in real life, so I'm gonna say no. More for me. That's not okay. That's messed up. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard. Oh, please, please let me be part of the royal guard. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. The next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oof. 
Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. Jesus. Sands? Sands? By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Mood, though. Honest mood. Sands, you teleported me all the way back to Grillby's. How dare you. I don't know why, I just love doing the papyrus voice as much as possible. Always. What's fun is, I don't even think Sands is going to be back there again. I think he's gone. He's gone. He left us. No more Sands. Oh, no, he's there. Determination! Let's hang out again sometime. I wonder what you said if he went back. <gasps> It's the chest. Yeah. Next to finish. I kind of need to walk forward. Nope. Nope. No. Leave me alone. Uh-oh. It's spooky boy hours. <gasps> Undyne. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oof. <laughs> oh no, it's Undyne, ready to do me a stab. Oof. All right, I do kind of want to stop here. Oh God, it's Monster Kid. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get our attention? Ha! Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Fwap. That's an oof monster, kid. Funny you should mention. Um, It's gonna be another short video today, because my throat's not doing so hot. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, do be sure to hit the like button, and if you're new here, subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications on all my new videos. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out.